I've got the Samsung Galaxy S20 right here. And I'm going to show you how to manually disable a lot of the pre-installed applications that you find in the app drawer. So all three of these devices, the Samsung Galaxy S20, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, and the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, they're going to ship with various applications pre-installed directly from Samsung, such as LinkedIn, Netflix, Facebook, and not everybody is going to be using these apps. Now I've previously shown you how to uninstall these pre-installed apps, but it requires you to use ADB, so you have to connect your phone to the PC and then execute some command prompt commands. Not everybody wants to do that, so you can actually disable some of these apps directly from the Android operating system. So let's say we wanted to disable the Netflix application. We would just tap and hold on that Netflix app and then tap on disable. That's going to bring up a pop-up down here at the bottom. And it's telling us that Netflix and all of the functions related to it will be disabled and then it tells us where we can go to enable this in the future. But if we just tap on disable you can see that application is going to be uninstalled, but it's really just being disabled. Now another way we can do this is actually going through the settings. So we can go through the settings and from settings you can find the applications section. And from here you're going to see a lot of other apps that are installed. Maybe they don't show up in the app drawer, but they're still installed, and you can disable a lot of these, like the briefing app. I don't use the briefing feature on the Samsung smartphones. I use Nova Launcher, so I don't even use Samsung's home launcher anyway. So for me, I can go in and disable the briefing app, and now I know that briefing is not going, that service or app is not going to be launched in the background. It's impossible for it to launch because it is disabled. So that's how to manually go in and disable specific applications on your Samsung Galaxy S20.